Hello everybody and welcome back to the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast. Today is Sunday the 23rd of August 2020 and it is the last two Premiership matches of the weekend of the 20th to the 22nd of August. Today is there's two matches. It is Aberdeen's second match back after eight players broke the coronavirus um, COVID-19 situation set up by the Scottish Government that you were to quarantine, that footballers were to quarantine for 14 days if they had symptoms of the coronavirus, um, which eight Aberdeen players didn't do as well as one Celtic player of Bolly, Bolly and Golly. Eight Aberdeen players were caught out after they went to a bar in Aberdeen and eight of them ended up catching symptoms of the coronavirus. Now Aberdeen haven't, hasn't played a com- competitive match of football in the Scottish League for 13 days prior to Prior to that event happening, um, they had a match at McDermott Park in midweek where they played St Johnston and won 1 0. Um, yeah, guys, and today they've played their second game back, they're at home at Pataudry versus um, a side that managed to get a Taught our bottom six, I think they finished six or seven last season, and they're a good side, another competitive outfit. I don't think that they'll go down this season, they're too good to go down. They've got a good swell of team, their defence is good, they've got a good management team. Um, they also have just signed former Celtic and Hibs, he has played for Ireland as well. He's a striker, 32-year-old 30, Anthony Stokes. Anthony Stokes has signed a pre a, a contract as he was a free agent after leaving uh, Arani side. Um, Gary Holt and Livingston, the lovely Lions, have signed Anthony Stokes. And that is a good signing for Livingston. He is... He's previously to sign for Livingston, he's played with fellow Livingston players, F.A. Ambrose at Celtic and at Hibs and also Marvin Bartley. Today it's a 3pm kickoff. they've travelled up to Pataudry in Aberdeen. Aberdeen have recently signed former Rangers midfield, uh, midfielder CDM. Ross McCrory and Ross's twin Robbie McCrory is the number one goalkeeper for Livingston this season on loan from Rangers and Rangers have recently sold Ross to Aberdeen. Today the Livingston face Derek McInnes's side and it will be a tough encounter for Livingston and up at Pataudry this afternoon and uh, well, I think that it will be a, either a one-all draw or a one-nil win to Livingston. I think Livingston will give Aberdeen a game at Pataudry this afternoon. But um, Aberdeen haven't got a, a, a striker at the moment as Sam Cosgrove is injured. Um, former Motherwell striker Curtis Main, he's injured. And during the week they had um, Lewis Ferguson, the young Aberdeen midfielder, playing up front against St Johnston. Um, so yeah, that's one of the games this afternoon. I think that will be that score. And the second match of the afternoon today is uh, live at McDermott Park. It's Callum Davidson side facing Jack Rossi's Hibernian. Hibs travel up to McDermott Park in Perth this afternoon to face McDermott Park, St Johnston. St Johnston 
I have lost a few of their key players from last season and they also lost their manager and the experienced Tommy Wright. Tommy Wright ha has left St Johnston at the end of last season and they have also lost their key players from last season, Dre Wright and oh, I can't remember the last one. Uh, come back to me guys, tell me in the comment section down below who I'm missing out here. Um, in their last two matches they've done well, they've done, they've done well at Kilmarnock at Rugby Park. They went from 1-0 down against Kilmarnock to win back 2-1. They played superb against Kilmarnock in the second half. Michael Halloran got one of the goals, former Rangers player. And the second goal was former Hibs player, David Moverspoon. Um, this afternoon Hibs travel up Hibs have got a decent side as well in the likes of Ophir Marciano Kevin Nishbit former Dunfermline young player striker he's, he's scored a hat trick and he's a top goal scorer this season in the Scottish Premiership they, all, they have also still got Mar Martin Boyle and they have signed a few, a few more key players for their team this season I think that they'll get a top six finish this season and this afternoon it'll be a good game. It'll be the match of the day this afternoon and probably the match of the weekend. I think that it'll be a two a two one win for the Edinburgh outfit Hibs and goals coming from Martin Boyle and the second goal coming from will be Christian Joy Deutsch this afternoon. So yeah. Also I've read a rumour guys that I know it's nothing to do with the Scottish Premiership it's to do with the Scottish Championship newly, newly relegated side from last season in the Scottish Premiership Hearts have got bad news this, um, in the last night I've read on Twitter etc that, um, that the Scottish International Centre back for Hearts John Souter has regained the injury from the last previous seasons of his Achilles injury and apparently it's meant to be in his other leg this time but then Hearts are now looking at a centre back who used to play for Sunderland um, I think his name's Tommy Smith or something like that um, or a free agent he's, a, he's from New Zealand he's quite young um, and they're also looking at early mo former Motherwell winger um, Elliot Freer, they're looking at signing him on a, on a free agent deal. Also, looking, also they have recently sold Connor Washington to Charlton, Uche Piezo to Wickham, Sean Clare to Oxford United, and I think they could be selling a couple more as well. Um, I think it'll be a tough challenge for Hearts this season to come back up out of the Scottish Championship um, because they do have competition in that league this season and the likes of um, John Robertson's um, North team and Bernays, Kelly Fissel, um, Dundee, James McPeak's side, Dunfermline, Stevie Crawford's side um, and the other team that will be giving them a good game this season will be Queen of the South. Um, so yeah, they've got a they've got a good side. Robbie Nielsen back at Hearts. I think it'll be, I think that will be a tough encounter for Hearts this season in the Scottish Championship. But I think that they will be the winners of the Scottish Championship and will come back up next season. Um, I think that Rangers will win the league this season. It'll be tough. It'll be tough for us, and it'll be tough for Celtic. But the way that we've started the league, and the way that Celtic are playing just now, if we don't slip up, like we have in the last two seasons, in the second half of the season after the winter international break, if we play superb and show show Celtic and the rest of the teams in the league that. We aren't, we aren't an easy side to beat anymore but uh, Rangers are back and to show that we're not going to slip up and lose silly points like what we have in the last couple of seasons that Celtic have managed to slip up the 
to get up the league and win the, win the title in the last two years. Um, also, I think the champions, this, also this afternoon, guys, you have, there's nothing to do with Scottish football, you have the champion, UEFA Champions League final this afternoon, guys, after the, uh, is after the Hibs versus St Johnston match at McDermott Park which is live on Sky Sports um, and I will give you guys a pre-match thought after the game and I will do my thoughts on all the Premiership side on the games of over the course of the weekend um, so yeah guys also I'm trying to get a few things to do for the, sh for the channel for you guys I'm trying to get a few ex-professional footballers and football managers on this on the channel and hopefully get hopefully managed to get into a few stadiums to give you guys a tour etc and yeah um give you guys decent content on this channel I'm, I'm, i know that there's a few guys out there that are trying to do the same as me but i'm trying to do it a little bit different try to give you guys a little bit of a mix you know what i mean like I'm no, I have no, I'm a Rangers fan, but I'm no, I'm no biased, you know what I mean? Like, you have a few guys out there that are like Hearts fans, Motherwell fans, and like say Gogs A99, shout out to you if you're watching the channel, big man. Um, Aaron Fraser, Football Mania HD, he's one of my good pals. Um, also, you have um, CJ Novo, 992, what a man. And... You have a few other Scottish f Scottish football YouTubers YouTubers guys um that are doing the same as what I'm doing, but I'm trying to give you guys extra content of what they aren't doing and giving you guys a mix as I'm trying to talk about other teams as well as talking about my own team and talking about the SFA in Scotland etc. Talking about the cha champ Scottish Premiership Championship League One League Two. Lowland League, Highland League, etc. Junior football as well. Um, so yeah, guys, keep keep supporting the channel. Keep supporting the channel. Give me support. Tell your friends, your family, your dogs, your cats about me. So um, comment, like and comment down below, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Me being Connor. This been the Scottish Football Pundit Podcast, and I'm out.